Hello everyone, what's up? My name is Slothcakes and welcome back to some more Gundam Battle Operation 2. Now today we're going to be using the Zaku 2 F2. Now it's a level 2 or level 3, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's a 350 room. It's a nice suit, here's my build right here. Now when I say it's a nice suit, I don't really mean that. I just like saying that for everything because I'm nice. This isn't the best Zaku, it's a long distance type with very good range modifier. For its weapons, it can equip various types of primary weapons. The one I like the most is the anti-air Zaku machine gun. It's a Zaku machine gun with explosive rounds, it only has 6 shots, very good range. If you land enough of them, uh, they cause stun, they're slow, and they make a little explosion when they hit something. Pretty nice. As you see that Gog, I'm able to hit him from there, which is pretty good range. Also has an underbarrel grenade launcher. We have a storm fast, heat hawk, all that stats. For stats, it's average stats. Just you don't really have any melee modifiers, and you only have one swing, so it's a range guy. Like the cold district, you guys know I like playing at a range. And with the guard right there, I do see a lot of people do this. The guard is stun resistant, but it's not damage resistant. Yes, you go in and you do great damage but everyone proceeds to absolutely kill you like if more than three people focus the guard the guard's gonna die in this case the guard did leave and i should have chased it and got that kill but it's later gonna come up and bite me later but what this guy did it's risky but i understand it now this is the new map so i don't really know that much about it when I say new, this is like the newest map that came out, it's been some time, but it's still, I don't know that much about this map, there's still a lot of turns, I don't know, it's hard to get used to a map like this just because, with this map, there's a lot of buildings, there's also a bridge that circles around the entire map, there's a lot of hills, there's a lot of curves, a lot of nooks and crannies, it's a very interesting map. It's a very good map if you like the Freak Knot or the Pixie, just because it's very easy to get lost in here, and it's very easy to lose someone, like get someone off your tail in this map. But, uh, you know, you're gonna get used to it. This was a terrible spawn. Actually, no, not really. Started in, got a kill. Now there's a gun cannon, yeah, gun cannon right there. I do terrible damage against it. Missed my heat ox like a pro. But with this guy... Thankfully, I don't die that fast, so I can just shoot him to death. But, sadly, we didn't get the kill. I thought that a fleet was going to help me, but he shot a second too late, which is not that bad, but oh well. He got off his mobile suit, which wasn't that great, and there's a fleet right there. Now I'm trying to balance between stepping on this pilot, which I did, and getting making sure that fleet knock doesn't just come up and kill me. Another thing to note, before everyone just rushes in and attacks this guard, up there on that bridge, a market right there where the Gasha is. Please, wait, no, it's the Gat, no, it's the Gelgu. Please focus that spot. I see a lot of times people would just be up in that bridge and are just allowed to get constant shots off. You can get up on that bridge from both sides, and that Gasha barely missed me. But just if someone's up there. Try to focus them, try to shoot them, make sure you, they know that your team knows that they're there. Just, and if you're on the other team and you're up there, just know that sometimes people won't pay attention to you and you can just pop off all your shots. Now this is that really nice, oh, that's a nice color, I like it. Gonna get that shot, I stunned the fleet, so my bad there. We could have easily gotten that kill. Now here's the thing, the Gasher with invincibility is a dangerous thing because it can shoot its spike ball and even if it dies, that's still a third of someone's health gone. It takes around 6 to 7 seconds when someone gets up until the invincibility is gone. So do note that, there's that Gog again. It happens but there's always that raid, and check this counter out, nice. But there's always that raid that's gonna rush in and you do as good, you do as good as good as you do, which is a very hard sentence for me to say, but 
if you rush in crazy with the raid and you get kills, you did good. But if you rush in crazy with the raid and you don't get kills, you did bad. So you only do as good as you do. Which is always a tongue twister for me. Also, here's another thing. This is an ace match, which I forgot to say. Right here, you just saw me walk straight into the enemy. That's because at 3 minutes, the ace is selected. And I knew I was going to be with the ace with all my kills. I had a good idea. So, it's a very good idea to either go back and repair or go and die before the 3 minutes are up. Just because if the 3 minutes, if it's the 3 minute mark and you're the ace and you only have a little bit of health, someone's only going to need to shoot you once and you're going to die and you're going to be worth 3 times the points. So like right here, I spawn back in as the ace, I have full health, ready to go. Got that kill, 3 times points, which is nice, there's the Gog and the Afri, no that's the Gelgu. The Gelgu's right here, got him again, 3 times points. My teammate is, my team in this game is being very good and helping me get all the kills. Just because, if you guys don't know, if you're the ace, every point you get is worth 3 times the points. But if you die, you're worth 3 times the points. And the ace's health and location is constantly marked, as you see that gun cannon up there. But if you the, an ace kills an ace, they don't stack. Now I tried to get greedy and get him, but the Gasha nailed me with that, which is alright. There's an Afrit knock right there, let's see if we can get him. It's alone, but thankfully my teammate's gonna come and help me. Now again, my teammates were being nice and helping me get the kills, but at this spot, like with this instance, I wasn't able to get it because I was reloading. And I overthought this. I went up that hill backwards thinking the fleet was hiding, but he got me in the back, which was my first death of the ace. But that's all right sometimes. I really don't like dying as the ace unless I get enough points. I got enough kills, but still. As you see, we have a good lead, but if the ace gets a kill, that lead's instantly gone. Ace matches are very close because... Three kills are worth, what, like 3,000 points. So it's it's kind of... It's always up in the air on who's going to win. And, you know, unless you have like a 10,000 point lead. But in this instance, that Gasha wanted to kill the ace, so he rushed in. Wasn't the best idea. Oh, no, uh, I thought I was going to get him there. But no, not the best idea. We got him with the anti-ship. Thankfully, my teammate let me get him. We have a few seconds left. It doesn't look like they can do anything about it. There's that Gog that we're just going to bully. Like I said, the Gog, just, it's really... You can just kill the Gog so fast if enough people focused it. Another thing, shotguns absolutely destroy the Gog. I don't know why. It's probably because of the pellets. But if a shotgun hits a Gog, it's going to stun it. Which is alright. Do I die? Yeah, I die. Last second, like usual, I always die, guys. Happens every game I do good, I die in the last second. Now, I did not know if we won or not. I, we do win, but I didn't know by how much. Just real quick, we win by... Oh, we won by plenty. Oh, I had nothing to worry about. But yeah, as you see, we did, I did amazing. We did most score, great assist, most damage, top division. If you're ace... And your teammates help you. You're going to be doing the best. All of it. Look at that. First place. Second place. Third place. And everything. Great damage. Eight kills. Four deaths. It was a great game. But anyways guys. Thank you for watching. This was from Zach F2. Check out my channel for other videos. And see you guys next time.